Hello, it's Shakira. How you doing? Um, happy April. <laughs> I'm back on here. All those out there in the YouTube world. Hey. Um, I was just celebrating our, um, me and my husband Mark's um, seventh year wedding anniversary, which was very exciting. And that's why I've been around, you know, again, praying to the Lord what to do, what to say, all the people there, you know, in here and YouTube. You know, I don't usually make videos just to make videos. But it seems like I need to, like, make this video for all those that are grieving, that have lost babies or any loved one. Like I have, you know, in December 2013, we lost our firstborn son, Enoch Miracle Coberti. And even in May 8th of 2013, the same year now, I lost my mom, Nancy J. Benjamin. Um, but what the Holy Spirit been giving me when I be hearing stories like this, even whether it's online or through the, through the media or in real life, you know, people believe that there are people that are going to turn into angels when they die. There are, you know, i on a support group and I just believe that the Holy Spirit want me to share that. That we need to, you know, if you're a Christian... You need to put your faith in Christ Jesus alone. You know, our deceased loved ones cannot help us. Our deceased loved ones cannot guide us. You know, they can't guide our path. Even though it seems somewhat comfortable, it seems somewhat, somewhat comforting, but it's not biblical at all. We are made in the image of God. You know, I mean, it's, it's just like that. So... Even in um, Genesis 1.26, he said, let's make us man in our own image. That's what it says. It's biblical. You know, God made the first man, Adam, out of earth, you know. And he breathed the breath of life in his nostrils. He became a living soul. Okay? We were made in the image of God. So we are born in the image of God. We're going to die in the image of God. I don't know what's this nonsense going around like oh my baby is now an angel you know my baby is a, a rainbow or a butterfly or a tree or a flower I mean this is reincarnation stuff that's not in the Bible at all so for y'all that still believe this nonsense and you call yourself a Christian you really need to get in the Word of God more and really know that God is the God above all comfort this is Second Corinthians one three. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That's in John fourteen six. Okay. You know we are all made in His image. You know in similitude of God. You know, the goats they have their own kind. The owls they have their own kind. The flowers they have their own kind. The lions, the tigers. Uh, birds they have their own kind they don't turn into nothing else you know what I'm saying so we need to like get right with God and get in his word and if you're not saved please come to the Lord Jesus Christ do not believe in everything that people say it may sound comforting but it's not comforting our loved ones are not watching over us they're not communicating with us they're not showing us any signs the Lord is doing that the Lord is the one that's comforting us. The Lord is the one that's watching over us. The Lord is, is guiding our path. The Lord, he's, he's, he's giving us strength to keep going. In his word, in, in Nehemiah 8, 10, it says, For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Not our lo dead loved ones. So this is all goes back into familiar spirits. If you don't know what familiar spirits is, it's, somebody, it's a spirit... That has grown up with the person since they died, you know, and it's not the person; it's the familiar spirit. That's why, um, even in Deuteronomy eight, eighteen, ten to twelve, it talks about staying away from consultants with familiar spirits and necromancers. Necromancers is people that communicate with the dead, you know. They 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 talk to them and all this stuff, even though they actually talk to dead familiar spirits. Which is, is what God had told the children of Israel not to do. 
and us as Christians, we shouldn't do that. Okay? This is unbiblical. I mean, it's in the Bible, it's, uh, but the Bible talks against this stuff. So, you know, the Lord, He communicates with us. The Lord Jesus, He communicates with us. Not at that loved ones. But one day, we will see them again. And, you know, just have trust and faith in Him. You know, if it wasn't for my strong faith in Christ and my husband's strong faith in Christ, we would have lost it a long time ago because we never lost two people in one year. And I, I do sympathize for those that are grieving and those that may find comfort in knowing that, oh, that's my son, he's showing me a sign in the sky and balloons and all that stuff. I mean, I hear this stuff and it's like the Holy Spirit inside of me is grieved. Of hearing it, so I I need to put that out there because we need to put our faith in Christ. He is the only one that can comfort us. You know, He gives us the comfort, the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. He gives that to us. So please, come on. I may sound good, but it's not biblical. Okay. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment underneath this video, and I'll explain it to you more. Um, you know, and uh, uh, that's what. Saul did when when you know God had took away his right to be king over Israel he decided to go with a woman that communicate with familiar spirits and then you know this woman called up Samuel you know because he realized that God forsaken him because he was not obeying his commandments you know he supposed to kill Agag the uh, the Amalekite the king of the Amalekites and he he didn't do that. He saved all that stuff. He disobeyed, and this is where First Samuel fifteen twenty two, where um, Samuel was telling Saul, you know, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. You know, so what is he saying to Saul is, God respects our obedience than what we give him, our sacrifice. You know, like. For today, it would be tied to offerings because I'd be hearing that a lot. You know, but God doesn't care what's in our pockets or in our wallets and whatnot. He cares about our obedience, our love for Him. And if we're going to truly love Him, we got to forsake idolatry. Because that's the thing about God. He hates idolatry. You know, in Deuteronomy 4.24, it says, For God is a jealous God. You know, when I read that over and over again, I said, Whoa! So I have to really be careful what I admire, how and what I aspire, you know, and we all gotta do that, you know, even myself, you know. I'm not saying this to disrespect anybody, but if you're a grieving person out there that have lost a baby or lost any loved one, you know, I will pray for you. I will, I know, however the Lord leads, He will use me to help you anyway. But the reality is, your deceased loved ones is not looking over you, you know, they're not. It's the Lord Jesus Christ that's looking over us. You know, that's why the song comes in mind. His eyes is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. He does watch over us. You know, and he never dies. He's the everlasting God. He is the Prince of Peace. You know, he's the great I Am. You know, that's what I love about Isaiah 9-6. I mean, I can go right now and read it to you. You know, stop with all this... Well, my baby is it's a, a rainbow, and you know, I just have to tell you guys because I love you enough. Maybe you're a pastor, so somebody have not told you this, but it grieves the mess out of me. I know it grieves the Holy Spirit. This is what says Isaiah 9 6. For unto us a, a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Not your dead loved ones. So can we stop right now? I mean, I'm saying this alone, but it, 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 you know, to be honest, it makes the Holy Spirit greet. And just gotta put it out there, guys. So if you have any comment, if you don't like it, I'll pray for you, and I'm ready to be persecuted because I already told it on Facebook and there's a lot of people think I'm being disrespectful being hurtful because I wouldn't believe but I'm gonna stay on what the Word of God says and if y'all guys don't like it out there YouTube I don't care so I love you all have a good night 
and be blessed and put Jesus first. Not your debt loved ones. Alright? Bye!